Hello everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm part of the Global 1450 movement. We desire to equip people like you to reach, disciple and empower the next generation. How can we encourage families to nurture their children spiritually as disciples at home? This table is set with several items that remind us how parents can make disciples in their home. First, make the most of teachable moments. The table and chair set for a meal illustrate on ordinary activity we do as families. Eat meals. Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 until 7. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Moses first challenged the people of Israel to love God with their whole being. Then he challenged parents to watch day and night for opportunities to teach their children while they were sitting at home, walking on the road, lying down and getting up. We call this teachable moment. Teachable moment occurs all day long, every day. It can be simple as pointing out to your child something beautiful that God has created and thanking God for his wonderful creation. Maybe it comes when your child is worried about an examination at school and you remind him that the Bible says in Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7, not to worry, but to pray about it and let God's peace fill our minds. Then pray about it with your child. We also could tell our children about the beautiful flowers that God already prepared everything. Even King Solomon didn't dress as beautiful as those flowers. And we can tell our children how precious we are in God's sight. God will provide anything. We do not have to worry. So we can use that teachable moment to teach our children. If parents believe they must follow a complicated program of biblical instruction to teach their children, they may hesitate or not do it at all. However, all of us can teach our children by our examples as part of our daily life. Second, build relationship every day. The plates remind us of something we do every day. Eat. Yes. Eating. We feed our families physical food every day, but there is more we can give our children. Some parents want to disciple their children, but they try to do so without building good relationship with their children first. Children will not be open to our spiritual encouragement or instruction if they do not feel at ease with us or enjoy our company. A quote says, Children don't care how much we know until they know how much we care. Parents can do a number of different things daily with their children to build stronger relationship, such as talk together, share normal conversation, listen to each other with your mind and heart, laugh and play together, enjoy life together, pray together, in the morning, before bedtime, or another time of day. Work together to take care of the home and its other. Speak God's word together, teaching as you live. Express your love with words and touch. Whatever you do, the important things to remember is to fill your child's emotional plate daily with activities that build relationship with them. The third principle is disciplines for growth. One of the most intense teachable moments comes when a child has done something wrong and needs disciplines. 
it is very easy for parents to respond to these moments in such a way that would wound a child's spirit. When we discipline wisely, we actually help our children to grow strong in their relationship with Christ. Ephesians 6 verse 4 says, Father, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. The two words used in this verse to describe how we bring up children, training and instruction, have interesting core meanings in the original Greek language. One word means to teach with great love, and the other means to love with great teachings. The words show that there should be a balance between firmness and love. Salt helps us to understand this balance. Salt is made of two chemicals, sodium and chlorine. Each of these chemicals is toxic by itself, poisonous, but together they form salt, something wonderful, healing, helpful, flavorful, and useful. In the same way, if parents are overly permissive with their children and only love without correcting or giving guidelines for behavior, this can be toxic to children's growth in faith. If parents are only harsh with their children without showing love, children can become resentful and this can also harm their spiritual growth. Children need a balance of firmness and love. When we disciple our children, our desire should not be to punish children, but to correct and guide them, giving them healthy boundaries for living. Love is far more effective than unreasonable force at building disciplines who love and follow Jesus. Lastly, serve God together. The serving this full of food for everyone remind us that a family that loves and obeys Jesus is to be showing and sharing his love with others outside the family. This is not something all families think of doing. Matthew 5 verse 16 reminds us, In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. There are so many ways that families can serve together to let their light shine and help non-Christian families come to know and love Jesus. Families can get to know others' families by inviting them into your home or visiting their home. Get to know other families by spending recreational time with them. Meet the needs of a family in need. Pray together for families in need. Or invite and bring them to a church event. As we conclude, let us revive the many opportunities families have to disciple their children in the home. Families can 1. Make the most of teachable moments. 2. Build relationship every day. Third, disciplines for growth. And four, serve God together. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell to alert you when we post a new video. And please share this video with others who would be encouraged by the message. If you would like to translate this video into another language, the video script can be found on www.1for50today.net. To access other resources to help you reach, disciple, and empower your children, head to www.1for50.net.